Surrounded by fields and towering above the corn rises 1,023 acres of trees known as Lincoln Trail State Park. But don't let the name fool you, President Lincoln never actually came to this park. It's not anything associated with Lincoln other than being along the Lincoln Heritage Trail. A lot of people come looking for Lincoln stuff. The historic Lincoln Heritage Trail passes right through Marshall, which is how the park got its name. Illinois officially acquired the first 31 acres of the park in 1931 and has since made Lincoln Trail the recreation site it is today. There's trails to go on, there's fishing, uh, we have a restaurant here. Uh, you have, we have a lot of people that just come through the park and uh, exercise. It's five miles around the, uh, the lake. A lot of people camp. Uh, but we do have a lake, so a lot, we have a lot of fishermen. Just out here to relax and have leisure, and some of them fish, and some of them just sit around campfire and gossip and <laughs> tell stories. And with so much to do, it's no wonder why some families come back year after year. I've been coming out here ever since this place opened. You meet a lot of nice people in this park. We used to camp here years and years ago when we was great, uh, when we was raising our kids up. We just loved the campfire and being around family, and the kids had made friends here. So when we'd come in, they'd get we'd get their bikes out and they'd take off, and they had <laughs> people that they run around with here. Some families, like Carl Schaefer's, not only made memories at Lincoln Trail but left some as well. We had five children, and matter of fact, uh, they got their initials on the trees out here. But the park isn't just for those raising families, it's for those starting families too. We've had people that have honeymooned on a site and then come year after year to get that site again. Whether you're looking to stay a week or a night, there's always somewhere to set up camp. We have 233 sites. Uh, some of those are primitive, and uh, most of them are electric. Uh, you have electricity. You may prefer to cook your own meal over a campfire, but if you rather have someone else be the chef, Lincoln Trail has the answer, a full-service restaurant that overlooks the lake. Lincoln Trails Lake was the third lake created in Illinois. The lake covers 146 acres and seven miles of shoreline, so no matter where you are, there's always a beautiful view. Of course, at a state park, you've got to notice the wildlife. There's a lot of birds, uh, there's coons, uh, there's a few skunks, a few snakes, you know, the normal run of things with rabbits. In early spring and late fall, you see a lot of deer, and they'll even come up in the camping area when it's not, you know, during the week when it's not busy. And if you're lucky, you may witness a miracle. Oh, my husband saw one that had just gotten born, and it was down in the ditch, and at first he didn't know what it was, and he, he stopped and, and watched, and then pretty soon it got up on its legs, and it was real wobbly, and then off it went with mommy, you know, and uh, We've seen um, wild turkeys and uh, with her babies come across the road. It's not just Lincoln Trails Lake, campsite, or trails that keep visitors coming back. Site Superintendent Mike Sanders says it's the simple things that really impress guests. Campers are usually pretty impressed with the cleanliness of the campground. It's well cared for and it, it's clean and you don't have a lot of rowdy parties here. It's You have a lot of people that come during the week that are just retired. It's just a nice atmosphere. Flowers, trees, water, and butterflies are all reasons Lincoln Trail State Park is loved by those who visit. Nature, you know, and we've had a lot of people that have come through and they just stay one night and we've had a lot of them say this is really one of the nicest parks they've ever Come across. It's really nice in here. It's one of the nicest parts that I ever was in. WEIU encourages you to visit a local state park this weekend and tune in tonight at 8 for The National Parks, America's Best Idea.